Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I am coming to you with answers to 10 crafty questions. I was tagged in this challenge by Donna Little. So I put my journals out here just for you to have something pretty to look at while I just drone on <laughs> answering questions about myself. So first of all, uh, they want to know what your name is. Well, I think most of you know that my name is Dorinda. Um, I was named after a British actress by the name of Dorinda Stevens. Um, but her name is spelled D-O-R and mine is D-U-R. But apparently my mom saw her name on a movie that she watched and she loved the name. And so I got it. My YouTube channel name, uh, Creative Moments with Dorinda, um, it actually started out from my Etsy store. Now, I don't talk a lot about having an Etsy store because there's nothing in it right now. <laughs> I um, have not had any time to get things made to put in my store. I'm hoping that's something that will come in the very near future. If I don't go to the store and put stuff in there, then I'll probably just sell directly on YouTube. But the idea was I had the Etsy store um, the name of my Etsy store is Creative Moments by DLR, which is my initials, because I could not fit my whole name in the amount of space that they gave me to use. When I decided to um, actually have a YouTube channel where I was making videos, I put the name Creative Moments with Dorinda instead of by, because I wanted it to be more inclusive. I wanted it to be those moments that you all spent with me not just where people would come and just see things that I had done do you know what I mean I just I wanted to make it more about you know come on over and spend some time with me and let's have some creative moments together you know that kind of thing and where the idea of creative moments came from is you know when you're a mom and you work and you know you've got all these other responsibilities that you have to do you a lot of times you only have moments that you can pull here and there to you know have any creative time so that was where the creative moments came from just a second I got to get a drink okay so f what is my favorite craft I am very eclectic in that I like to try everything. It's like if I see something and I like what they've done and I think, hey, maybe I can do that, I'll give it a go. I just, I like to try new things. I I like to, you know, see what I can and can't do and put my own twist on things. I mean, I think we all tend to, you know, see somebody do something and then tweak it and add our own touch or maybe just something we watch inspires us to make something of our own so you know for me to have like a specific favorite kind of craft I really don't I get bored easily so you know for me to have different types of things to work on is pretty much something that I need to do um but you guys know that I I love playing with textures I like lots of color and metal fabric and fibers and lace and you know I like to repurpose things I, I love mixed media because I love to be able to pull in all different kinds of things and see what you can do with it and what it will look like in the end so okay favorite place to buy craft supplies I'm not a person that really likes to shop I find that if I go into a store where I have a lot of choices, I get overwhelmed. So while it's good to have choices, sometimes for me, it just makes it hard for me to decide what I want to get because, you know, none of us, I don't think, have unlimited cash supply, so you can't just go in and buy everything you want. So unless I'm looking for a specific thing, I really try to avoid places where I feel like I'm going to get overwhelmed. I also don't like crowds of people. So, um, I tend to do most of my shopping online. So, I like to shop on Etsy. Um, I love eBay. Um, live sales. You guys know I get a lot of great deals from the crazy auction lady. 
And then if I do go shopping outside my house, <laughs> I like to go to thrift stores. I love to go treasure hunting. And then um, also sometimes I'll get things at Dollar Tree. But even Dollar Tree, I have not been to in a really long time. Probably because I'm spending too much money online. But anyway. Uh, my top five crafters. I um, find it, like everyone else, really difficult to pinpoint specific people because you think of one person, it makes you think of five other ones. So, I mean, there's just so many talented people out there and so many people that I like to watch. But I have to mention Gail Augustinelli because, one, you guys know I talk about her all the time, but the reason for that is that Gail has taught me so much since I started on YouTube, like all the different kinds of ephemera and, you know, junk journals and binding and just everything that is involved in journal making, a lot of that I have learned from Gail. Um, I also want to mention Marami Small Arts. Her name is Marta. She taught me everything about mixed media and it's because of her that I even tried mixed media, but it was one of those things where I started watching her videos and she made it look so easy. And she, you know, when she does the different videos on how to break break a blank page is so helpful to help you know how to get started. And she shows you different things to use and how to use them. And so she just was very instrumental in me even getting started in mixed media, but also the love that I have for it now um, that was inspired and encouraged by her. I also want to mention Elemental Designs because she too is another amazing artist um, who has also inspired and encouraged me. I was part of her, um, ch uh, not challenge, it was a, um, oh shoot, what do you call them? It just totally went right out of my head. But when I did the steampunk series, where we had to do the different items. I cannot even think what those are called. But anyway, um, you know, she and Isabel, you know, welcomed me in on that and uh, allowed me to kind of spread my wings a little bit and, and grow and do something that I had not done so much of all at once. And it was a challenge, but it was good. And it just, it helped me to grow as an artist. And I just really appreciate um, her for that. Um, and then also, you know, there's a lot of lives that I like to participate in online. And I appreciate these people for having these lives because they are so much fun. And so the first person I want to mention is my world in OKC. And that's Tammy. Tammy has amazing sales, great prices. She also does lives where she'll have other people come on in, um, craft with her as well but also Tammy is the first person that asked me to be on a design team for her and that just meant the world to me um, I'm just I'm still learning about who I am as a artist and a crafter and for her to validate me and my work in such a way that she wants me to represent her is just a huge huge deal and I appreciate that so much um, another one is uh, Recreations by Brooke. She does live sales and she also does live craft with me. And she is just another one of those beautiful souls that um, is just very sweet and kind and caring. And um, I, I just love hanging out with her and all the people that come uh, to her lives. Um, there's Pete and Repeat shows that are on Hottie Popo's channel. <laughs> <laughs> and I have to laugh because you can't talk about Hottie Popo and the Jersey Crafter without laughing because they are so much fun. Oh my gosh. All of these people that I'm mentioning are just the most wonderful women that are out there in our crafting community and are just such a pleasure and a joy to participate with them on their channels, getting to know them a little bit. And just spending some time with them. I, I just love all of these ladies. Um, and then, of course, um, the Jersey Crafter has her own channel where she does lives that are a lot of fun. Um, Cheryl Wilms, Sassy Jewelry. She does um, paparazzi jewelry live sales. 
great prices, fabulous jewelry. I never was really too much into jewelry until I started going to her sales. <laughs> now it's like I can't stop. But she just has some really cool stuff that's really pretty. And, um, you know, it's, it's not stuff that you just wear. It's also stuff that you can use in crafting. And because the prices are phenomenal, it's okay to spend the money to buy it, to craft with it. So you'll want to check her out. And then uh, the last person that I wanted to, I mean, it's not the last person that I want to mention. I could go on and on. It's just the last person I'm going to mention for sake of time and your boredom. But uh, Judy Evans Parker, she is a lovely woman that has um, lives a couple times a week where if you need prayer or if you just have a heart and mind to pray for other people, um, she does that on her channel twice a week on Wednesday and Sunday evenings. So I, I wanted to mention Judy as well. So that was more than five, but that's me. I'll, I'll give you what I want to give you, <laughs> regardless of what it calls for. <laughs> uh, what is my favorite color? Well, I don't know. You guys tell me. What is my favorite color? <laughs> I don't think it's any secret that we all know purple is my favorite color. And it's not like it's the only color that I like. I mean, if you look at these journals, I love all of these journals in their own way. And they represent a lot of different colors. Um, and I'm all about the combining of the colors, too. Like, I love pink with black or pink with brown. Um, I love jewel tones. Um, and of course you guys know how much I love texture. So, you know, I do love purple, but there are other things that I love too. And, uh, isn't it nice that we have such a variety to play with? The only color I can say that I don't like is yellow. And I don't know why that is, but it's just not a color that calls to me. But I do like sunflowers. <laughs> so let's figure that one out. <laughs> Anyway, I think sunflowers are just happy flowers. Um, okay, moving on. My favorite craft tool. You know, I had to start thinking about what my favorite craft tool was when I started doing um, challenges because people want to know things about you and want you to include that when you send your challenge entry in. And so once I started to really think about it, my computer or technology are really my, what I would say are my favorite craft tool because my technology, whether I'm on my computer or my phone or my notebook, is my connection to all of you. It's my connection to inspiration. It's my connection to socialization. It's my connection to, you know, digitals and images and, you know, just everything that inspires me about creating art. I mean, not that I'm not inspired in the outside world and, you know, different things like that, because I think you guys know our minds never shut off. I mean, we're always looking at things and seeing the art in them and what we could do with them wherever we go. But without technology, I think I would be pretty lost and kind of alone. So I am grateful to have that and I would say that is my favorite craft tool. Where did my love for crafting come from? Well, my dad is a carpenter by trade. He has, um, he worked construction his whole life and um, can pretty much make anything out of wood. I consider that to be creative. Um, my mom did crafts with us when we were kids. You know, we painted some Christmas ornaments that I actually have to this day. They're not the greatest, but um, they were meaningful enough that 40 some years later, I have them now and put them on my tree. And it brings back some, some nice memories, you know. But it's not something that was really like encouraged or um, something that... Uh, like I did all the time with anybody at home. I've always loved art. I never felt like I was very good at it. Uh, when I was a kid, I was in uh, one of the craft 4-H groups. And, um, you know, we would go over to a neighbor lady's house and 
get together and do crafty things. The only thing I really remember is the first time I did Mod Podge and we had like a ceramic kind of shape and we Mod Podge these um, little girls on the, the, the shape and put a ribbon on the back and I made a little thing I could hang in my room. Of course, it was purple. <laughs> but, you know, things like that I remember. But when I really, really started getting into it, was when I had I was doing like some a little bit of dabbling and stamping. I had taken a class at a store and had bought you know some of their stamps and stuff and and just kind of started that way. And I got invited to a party. It was close to my heart. And uh, for those of you who don't know, it's a scrapbook company. It's like they have all kinds of paper and stamps and inks and all that kind of stuff. So I went to this party, and that was the first time I was introduced to the clear acrylic blocks and the, the clear stamps. thought that was the best thing that was ever invented. I got so excited about it because one thing that I'd always had trouble with was getting my images stamped the way I wanted them because you couldn't see where the placement was on the paper. So I loved it so much, I bought so much, that I decided to become a consultant. So when I became a consultant for Close to My Heart, I was doing a lot of classes and parties and vendoring at um, crops. And so then I really kind of got into the paper aspect of things, you know, doing scrapbook pages and making cards and um, just, you know, different things like that. But it was pretty much just paper. Well, I did that for several years and that was fun and everything. But it wasn't until I came to YouTube that I really started to branch out and try different things. Like doing challenges was one way. And if you're wanting to grow as a crafter, I would suggest doing uh, challenges because people will ask for specific things. Like I had never worked with fabric and actually I had never done a YouTube video until I entered a challenge that Evie Fuladu was doing. Fuladu, Fuladu, I can never know how to say her name right. But anyway, sorry Evie, I'm still probably saying it wrong. But anyway, she had a challenge and she was asking for wall hangings. Well, I watched some videos on how people did wall hangings and I thought, okay, well, I kind of get the idea how to do this. And so I did, I created a wall hanging and, you know, I wanted an extra entry. So I did a VR. That was how my first YouTube video was born. And that was also how I started working with fabric and images and that kind of thing. And just got a total love for it. Just love it. Love working with fabric. I would have, have never thought in a million years that one, I would work with fabric or two, that I would own a sewing machine. I love sewing on paper. That is another thing I just love to do. Okay. So anyway, I guess in a roundabout way, you know, my love started when I was a kid and it just, you know, really started to fully blossom and grow when I got to YouTube. And that is thank you to all of you guys. You guys are the ones that really have inspired and encouraged and validated even my creativity okay my favorite craft at the moment well I think the proof is right here laying here before you um, I've only been making journals for about a year and the way I even made my first one was because someone asked me to um, do a little golden book journal now I had been watching Gail and it was something that I wanted to try but I hadn't done one yet and it just kind of came out of the blue that this lady I know from church wanted a, a little golden book journal for, well, she wanted something for her um, daughter in love's shower. She calls her daughter in love. And I had been watching so much Gail, I showed her the journal and told her, you know, that I could make something like that. And she loved it and she wanted one. And so that was when I made my first journal but the reason I love making journals is because I can incorporate all of the things that I love to do in one place you know I can I can include all the textures and I can do mixed media um, all the different paper and the handmade embellishments I mean just in the handmade embellishments alone there's so many different kinds of art that you can create 
um, beads and jewelry pieces. I mean, the beautiful trims they can put on there and then the the beads that you dangle off of there and the, you know, the um, paper clips that you can make with the beads on them. Um, you know, doing different things with the, the napkins and the, the Mod Podge. I mean, just, I mean, even in just this little thing right here, there's so many different types of things being utilized here. You know, just in this little card, you've got your lace and your little trim and your paper and your fabric and your stickers. I mean, that's all just in just that one little piece, you know? So it's just, um, you know, the bags that, well, of course I'm not finding it. Like right here, the bags that I put in here, you know, that's a napkin Mod Podge down there. So there's just so many different things that you can include in a journal that involves a lot of different kinds of art. So that is why I really love journals. And then there's also like different kinds of journals you can make too. So, um, you know, that also allows for a lot of different kinds of art. It's, I think it's pretty hard to get bored making journals just because there are so many different styles and ways and things that you can do with them. And I think I, I love variety. And I think that's, you know, another reason why I love journals so much. Okay. Ha, that was a lot of talking. I am going to nominate Shirley Wilson, Cheryl Wilm, Sassy Jewelry, Elemental Designs, The Jersey Crafter, and Caters 08. I wanted to include some people that are smaller channels so that we can get to know them better and it also will direct some traffic to them. But then I also want to include people that I love and and um, would like to know more about and would like you guys to know more about. So that was how I went about picking the people. Plus I also wanted to look and see who had not been chosen. There was other people too that I would have picked that were already chosen. So, you know, I don't want anybody to think they're not special to me because I didn't nominate them. I mean, I mean, I probably could have nominated 20 or 30 people, but you know, <laughs> I would think that would be a little overkill. So anyway, those are the people that I nominated. I will link the channels below that I mentioned, and I will also link below the people that I have nominated. So thank you so much for watching you guys. Um, if you have any questions that I didn't answer, um, it never hurts to ask. I'm not guaranteeing I'll answer everything, but <laughs> there's not too much that I wouldn't uh, wouldn't be willing to share. But anyway, um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me, and I will see you all next time. Bye bye.